taking pictures from an investigation that gripped the valley. The disappearance of five-year-old Jessie Shockley. Her mother, Jerice Hunter, is charged with killing her own daughter, even though a body has never been found. ABC 15's Brian Webb has been taking a look at the hundreds of photos that were released to us today from the Glendale Police Department. And, you know, Brian, these pictures really give us a glimpse into the painstaking steps taken during this year-long investigation. And you remember first Glendale released their entire report to us. Thousands of pages we have in this box right here. Now they are releasing the pictures that go with it, like this one here. 2,000 of them. And this one is looking into the apartment where Jesse lived, opening the door into her life and the huge year-long investigation into her apparent death. As we go inside, we see the apartment little Jessie called home. Her messy bedroom with some of her belongings, a backpack, baby doll, and notebook with lessons from school in Jessie's handwriting. We then move on to pictures of her mother's bedroom, clothes, a TV, and the book A Purpose Driven Life. And then there is the closet. That's where police believe Jesse died at the hands of her mother, who they say bleached away the evidence. In back of the apartment, police took pictures of the patio and what looks like a fairly large blood stain next to a ruler. Pictures of a trunk of a car with evidence markers inside, along with leftover hair. It's the car police think was used to transport the girl's body inside a suitcase to this dumpster in Tempe, where police believe Jesse's body was left behind. The final shots, more than a hundred, are of the enormous Butterfield landfill with dozens of workers picking through mountains of trash looking for a body they will never find. So this case and these pictures now in the hands of attorneys. Jerice Hunter is still behind bars, still maintaining her innocence. Stephanie, we have more pictures given to us by the Glendale Police Department. Uh, a slideshow for you on our website, abc15.com. Okay, Brian Webb, thank you. And we